Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video you will learn how to add extra fields or options to your WooCommerce single fraud page. And in the previous video I showed you that how you can add an inquiry form here. But if you want to add a simple field, a text area or a drop down or a checkbox, you can do it easily by watching this video. So by using this method we can collect extra information for a product from the customers. And this is an example you can see we have these extra options like front placement location. These are by images and we can upload different files here then buy match item which will change the prices as well so we'll be adding something like this or a simple field like text check boxes or something okay now let's see how we can do it we'll be adding extra options to this product okay so let's go to our wordpress dashboard and here you can see we have these two products and now to add extra options we will need to install a free plugin for that we'll go to plugins add new and here we will search for a extra and you will see a few plugins, these are from the same company. Just install the first one, which is a extra WooCommerce extra product option. And once you activate that plugin, you will see a new tab here, which is a WooCommerce. Just click on it. And now the first thing is you will need to add a new option set. Okay, for that, just click on add new option set. And then you can give it a name. So I'll call this. Okay, let me check the current requirements. So this is personalization details. You can write any name here, okay? It's up to you. If you want to keep a description for it, you can write. If you don't want, just remove it. Then go to options. And here you can manage the options. Add new option. And this will be the extra option that we want to display on the product page, okay? If you want to edit this, just click on it. This is the option label. Let me show you. And this is the label. This is also a label. And these are the options, okay? So here you can write any label, I'll write the same name and then you can make it required or option. If you want the customers to must fill up this field, just make it required. Then you can choose different options like you can display text box, text area, numbers, checkbox, radio button, button and so on. And some are flow options like button, switches, date picker, time picker and so on. Okay. So for now we want to display a text area because we want to collect these details. Then we have some advanced settings where you can write a class name for it and then you can design it using custom CSS and this will be the flash folder for this box. So let me write. You will see this live on the website okay. And then number of rows. So here you can increase and decrease these based on your need. This is for this text area okay which will increase the height a bit. So I will write 4. I will show you this live later on okay. Then if you want to add a new option like this is text area and if you want to add a new one. You can do it like I will edit this and this will be another box like uh, options. Let's make this optional and we will select radio buttons. Okay. Once you select the option here, you will see option values here where you can write the options. For example, option 2 and so on. Okay. So in this way, you can add a new field if you want to. And further, if you want to add a new option, just click on it and then select the option type and so on. This is just the method, okay? And then we have actions where you can set conditions for these options, okay? If I click it, this is the action set one. So if match any of these condition, then do this. So this is if and then, okay? So I'll add a condition here. And here we have those two options that we just added, okay? Let's say I select this one. If the option is option one then what to do so i'll add a action here so add a fee 10 or something okay and add a discount or something so i'll write discount so if a user select the first option and their checkbox they will get 10 percent discount this doesn't make sense but i just wanted to show you okay and then the last and most important step here is the products so here you can assign these options to a specific product to a specific category or to all products okay so choose one by one choose a condition where you can again decide a condition and then you can search for a specific product a specific category or tags but as we have only these two products so i'll assign this option to one product for now okay let's select it and then click on set as designed now you can see this is designed so let's save our changes Setting saved and let's check that product again. I'll just refresh it. And uh, we didn't get those options. Let me check. Okay, we need to make this active. Okay, so this is now inactive. 
let's activate it and save changes and let's refresh it and now we have those options this is the first one which is the text area and these are the options okay now a customer can fill up these info and we can get these info from the customers and this is the height that i was talking about okay if i make it three then the height will be something like this okay and now to apply those discounts first let's select any variation from here like this now the price is 80 okay so if i choose option one now the extra sub total is 10 and the total price is now 90 okay let me quickly check the client's requirements to measure that okay so you can see here she mentioned this rush fee which is 15 usd so let's make it i'll just copy it and instead of these options i'll change them to a checkbox okay let's go here and we'll go to options let's delete this redo buttons because we don't need them we'll add a new one i'll call this rush fee and we will keep this optional because if someone don't want to select it that's fine and this time we will choose a checkbox and then we will go to option value add a value here i'll call this as it urgent or something okay now to give it a value or a fee we will go to actions and if any of these conditions match okay so we will add a condition which will be a rush fee if the rush fee is if the rush fee is one of its urgent okay we have one option there so then add a fee of 15 usd i'll call the rush fee again so if a user check this box he she will have to pay this 15 usd extra that's it let's save it and let's reload and now we have that checkbox over here okay okay we could have used those radio buttons because one option would be this is uh, urgent or not urgent but it's up to you i just wanted to show you the method of how you can add extra options to your woocommerce products okay and again if you want to add extra options like the images the file uploads you can upgrade to the plugin pro version and to learn more about wordface elementor and woocommerce just follow my channel i have lots of videos about wordface still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next